We are talking about some good news today. It's good. Good things happen. What happened? Hashtag cancel Netflix is number one on trending. Number one on Twitter with over 300,000 tweets. And, you know, normally Twitter is a giant cesspool of liberal degenerate propaganda and censorship of conservatives. But it seems in this case, I think this picture sums it up, whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, both people can agree. Cuties is definitely a weird pedophile movie. It's disgusting. It's degenerate. It's actually a lot worse than uh, the video clip showed in the other video. That's like just what I would feel comfortable putting on YouTube. And even that made me very uncomfortable. But like you can see here that in one of the scenes we have a child dancer lifts up her crop top to fully display her bare breast. How is that not child pornography? How are we not shutting this whole thing down? How is How are people really calling this art? Oh, you know who called it art? It won, it won like, Best Directing at Sundance Film Awards. You want to know who created Sundance? The co-founder, Sterling Von Wagenen. This dude got sentenced for child sex abuse. Huh, who'd have thunk? Never would have saw that coming. And this, was, this is not recent. This is older, I believe. It would be a little too coinkadinky dinky for it to be recent. But we got the stock. The stock's taking a hit. Take that, Netflix. We have over 600,000 people signing a petition about uh, planning to cancel their Netflix accounts. I even had people in my comments in the last video talk about how they canceled their Netflix subscriptions. I don't have a Netflix subscription. I just happen to have it because a friend has it because he had it from a friend whose friend's mom had it. I don't know how it happens. Netflix just kind of showed up into my life like the Kardashians or TikTok. It just kind of was there always. So yeah, but we are taking down Netflix with an actual hashtag. Now we know that Obama and, uh, and Michelle and Susan Rice, they're like, you know, they're big. They're big about it. Why aren't they doing anything about it? Why haven't they come out to talk about this? Let's check some of these tweets. Oh, that was a cute little puppy. See, that's some eye bleach that we need. Here's one. Do you know how sets work? I do. I've directed some of the biggest stars in the world. A director on the cutie set and a choreographer told 11-year-olds to simulate sexual moves repeatedly. What they did what they did should have them charged and registered as sex offenders. That's always weird that that's even allowed. I mean, anytime there's kids on the screen, I feel like that's really messed up. Like some of the, the most disturbing things I've ever seen were artistic movies, which I would call pretentious, that use child actors in really weird situations. Really, really weird. So yeah, let's see what else we got. Oh, that was scrolly, scrolly, scroll. The filmmakers of the Netflix film Cutie spent six months having 650 little girls twerk for them in auditions. That is disgusting. Over 650 different girls auditioned is there is uh that is absolutely disgusting and it's, it's a shame to this girl and the other girls involved i don't know i mean i don't know if, how old does a child have to be before you start blaming them for things you know like it's a weird there's a line surely somewhere but i personally think that these girls were exploited and i, I mean any child does not have the wherewithal to understand the con context of the situation but all those adults on set surely should have. But everybody in Hollywood or wherever, I mean, this is theoretical Hollywood because this was made in France, I believe. But we're talking about that industry. It seems like they're all just a bunch of yes men, yes women. They'll just do whatever they can. You're, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll do that. What do you want me to do? Is it illegal? I don't care. I wouldn't even ask if it's illegal. I'm just doing that for this reference. <laughs> Just got off the phone with Netflix customer service. They said that as of this time, they have no plans to remove the pedo film cuties from their platform. I feel like they didn't say that exactly. Maybe not verbatim. Keep fighting until they pull it down. They won't do it unless it starts affecting their bottom line. It seems like it is. It seems like it is affecting the bottom line. This is good, though. At least people have a soul. You know, tomato, Rotten Tomatoes, you, remember it used to be the thing? It, it's always that way. There's a thing, and it's awesome, and it's just like original, it's organic, and it's like, yeah, that thing will tell you the truth, and then that thing gets way too big, and then all of a sudden that thing stops telling you the truth. Rotten Tomatoes used to tell you the truth about if a movie was good or not, and then it got really cucked out, got really like, 
everybody on it just started being like, yeah, I love every movie that they pay me to like. But then, like, look at this, 33 people. Who did you ask? The tomato meter, like, that's, like, official critics. But then the audience score, that's, like, officially people who watch the movie probably, maybe. I don't, I don't know about that. I haven't necessarily seen the whole movie all the way through because I don't want to do that to myself. I would willingly submit myself to child pornography like that. But I can say that I also haven't voted negative on the score. But I, I, I like that people have. I like I like that they have. I'm not really inclined to go do that. But it shows something, you know. It is something to say. And this is very poignant, you know, just looking at the fact that our official critics support it. They think it's great. The unofficial critics... It's possibly one of the lowest scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Disgust. I'm sorry I even used that as the thumbnail. I might go change that just because it's just disgusting. I just googled Cutie's movie and then took one of the pictures I saw. It's honestly disgusting to scroll past. Like, what the fuck? Right? Are we going to look back on this and be like, remember when like Netflix accidentally made all of us like sex offenders? Like, what the fuck? So yeah, they're tanking. Ooh, here they are at 495, another 480. I wonder where they're at right now. So left, right, cancel Netflix. See, this one's a little bit better, maybe. But also, I guess it makes sense that this guy's left, this guy's right, just because of the... <laughs> just because of the... Whatever. We got people canceling. Yeah, with this chick. Now people are looking at the directors, they're looking at the... All right, whatever. I'm digressing. It it just sucks. I just wanted to say that it is trending on Twitter. You can check it out. Can cancel Netflix is number one. In fact, you go to Explore. Three hundred and six. And then if you scroll down a little bit, it's funny. You got Biden the rapist. But every time this happens, every time a negative Biden hashtag happens, trending with Trump the rapist. Every time, it's like clockwork. So this is like right below this. Boom, 33,000 tweets. But they always, every every time you try to say that, like, Biden or Bill Clinton, like, Bill Clinton's a rapist, they'll be like, well, Trump's a rapist, too. Well, Trump, Trump here's a picture of Trump with Epstein. Okay, well, here's seven pictures of Bill Gates and Bill Clinton with Epstein, and here's 26 different flight logs that have Bill Clinton on it, and here's, you know, you can throw all that shit at them, but they don't care. People have made up their minds, and I'm sure some people in these comments will have lots of info to, to tell me why... Trump is a rapist and why he actually directed cuties. I don't know. But I digress. That's the end of this segment. Just want to let you know. Uh, you're not alone in thinking that's disgusting. And it might be so disgusting that it's actually going to get something done. Something might actually happen about this. And that could be great. So yeah, that wraps up my little bit here. If you support independent investigative journalism like this, you can check out the description. Shout out to all my patrons. You guys show me all, all the best links, all the best news. You guys are awesome. And people of the world, I think that you're awesome. I think that optimism is better than pessimism. Glass not only half full, glass half full, and it's Baja Blast. Except it's not using high fructose corn syrup. It's a new alien-based sugar sweetener that allows you to... It's like adrenochrome, but you don't have to kill kids to get it. So, I'm just looking for the best case scenario. You look for your best case scenario. Be vigilant. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt. Call your mom. Call your dad. Whoever you love, call them. Tell them you love them again. I'm sure they wouldn't mind getting called back if you just finished talking to them and tell them that you love them. And call. I'm sure the people wouldn't mind. If you see beauty in the world, you should speak it. You'll be doing the Lord's work. Alright, peace.